Hey guys, I um, just got a very nice gift from a, a new friend I made on Facebook. Um, big thanks to, you know who you are, I'm not sure if you want your, your privacy or not, so I'll just be safe. Um, one cool thing is he's uh, very knowledgeable, I always love talking to knowledgeable people, and uh, he's running Ipsic uh, out of his uh, his place, so uh, he's Canadian, so if you're maybe if you're Canadian and interested in that kind of stuff, um, Maybe I'll send him a message and say if it's okay. Uh, if, if you're Canadian, just send me a message and maybe I'll try to connect you guys or something. It's the least I can do. Uh, very nice gift. I've been getting a lot of messages, always probably, but not recently, but in the back when I did a review on the Pro Wins and the Black, uh, Black Talon to do a review on the High Kappa. This is the Nine Ball magazine. It's a complete version. Um, realistically, I'm not a fan of anything that has to do with nine ball and in terms of like performance stuff quite honestly because I, I believe they sort of market their stuff for a Japanese market which is no problem for me it's just over here we're using propane and I've used a lot of their products uh, and they just you know they break fast on me or sometimes they're just not how I want them to be so I'm pretty picky but he t did tell me that he had a he's been having great experience with them and um, he's very knowledgeable, so I decided, hey, why not? And I was going to buy it, but he gifted me this. So a um, big thank you uh, to you again. And guys, we get a video out of this, so this is great. Um, what we're going to do is I have loaded up already for you guys. Uh, we're going to compare a weight. Let's open this up. Let's open this up, and we'll try to get as much as we can in this overview. Okay, looks like it's going to weigh 140 pounds, but um, little instructions. Yeah, that's, you know, too many people do this. This is so true. All right. Uh, seriously, guys, spend the correct time and actually stack them up right. Okay. You need to always make sure you stack them up perfectly. Like this. Even though I hate, these are the new TM mags. I hate them. Okay, but anyways, um, and don't let the spring snap hit, hit the top. That's too common. Uh, and another thing, guys, never overfill the mag. Seriously, you don't need to, you know, get all 31 in here. Whatever you, mag you have, don't don't fill it up to max. At least leave, leave like two or three or four off. Unless you're running competition, ignore me, okay? But let's get to Wayne, okay? Now, what comes with this? Is there a high flow valve? Not a big fan of that, but we'll see how it does. The nine ball gasket I really do love. Okay, this purple thing right here. Um, standard. It looks like you can use uh, standard TM lips on here so far. But obviously I don't know. But if, if I can use a high flow on here, that means these are going to be the same pretty much. But I could be wrong. And then you get the nine ball rubber base pad. Okay. It's just like the black talon one. But this one's a little more stiffer. Um, let's do a weigh-in. Uh, no gas, no BBs. Okay. Here's the little scale right here. It weighs 165.4 grams. Okay, guys? Let's weigh the pro in. Now, this has gas in here, and it has, what, how many BBs? Uh, two, four, six, seven BBs in here, okay? 171.5 grams. This one has six BBs, and this is the long version stock. These are both stock Pro Wins, okay? 215.7 grams. And then we have Black Talon. This has how many? Six. Six in here and completely stock. Okay. 132 grams. And here is the part when people realize how big a difference is. This is stock TM. This is the new Gen 1. It has two, four, six, eight, nine BBs. All right. And here's, guys, the big whammy. <laughs> 322.9 grams, so it's a big difference in weight. Um, let's put some gas in here. Guys, I run dry propane. Um, one thing, I always get a question about this. Um, if you're running dry propane, you do need to maintain your mags, and you should be ma maintaining your mags regardless. Maintain your gun, 
and maintain your max if you're running dry propane. People can run green gas, that's fine. It's just I run it dry, I, I just like dry and there's more reasons for it, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, let's see if it fills. Okay, I don't hear any leaks, which should be good. I'm assuming we're fine. Okay, let's put on, let's put in the worst BBs I have. <laughs> These guys jam on a lot of Max AIP. I love them, but they jam so much. This is good. See, you guys see what I just did? Don't do that. Try not to let it go. Um, let's see. There we go. You guys see? This is how it should be stacked. Make sure you stack it right. And here's my ghetto chrono station. I still haven't done the chrono box, so forgive me on that. I just got I got I'm scatterbrained right now. Let's go from TM. The only one that should be weak is the uh, Black Talon, because they have a Japanese low flow valve in here, only two ports. So let's start with the lowest chamber. There's one in, one in here. I need to empty this. Let me shoot at the back. Okay. Well, there you guys go. Uh, here are the negatives about ProWin. They jam, especially with these BBs. I actually have a video uh, coming up on this. I figured out a solution for them, so I'll be covering that. But um, let's start with uh, Black Talon. Okay, this Chrono, we are on 30s. Two seventy one. Two seventy one. We'll just do three shots for now. We still have one in the chamber. Uh, all right. So that was Black Talon. We're moving on to uh, who's going to be the lowest next? Maybe. All right. This is going to be the Poen Standard Mag War Game type. We'll shoot it anyways. 271, 274, out, we'll do one more shot, okay that's fine, you guys saying it's pretty much in the same range, 270s, okay now we're on to the, uh, the longer version, this is the Epsic style, these are cool, 275. <laughs> Alright, this one I haven't done modifications, but you guys can see it's getting jammed. One of the biggest negatives about the Pro Win. Alright, let's, let's move on. <laughs> That's going to be the same range. Alright, and now we have TM. Alright. Oh, is this base plate hitting it? Yeah. I'm gonna take that base plate off. We already have one in the chamber. Out. Out, come on. I got all Alice on this one. Two seventy three. You guys see that? Two seventy five. Two seventy eight. All right, three shots. You got one in chamber. Let me empty that. Okay. 
Now for the big test, man. This guy, in theory, should shoot pretty high. He's got the nine ball gasket, and he's got the high flow in here. So this is going to be a big boost. Uh, stock, 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 and stock. All right, guys, drum roll. This is what you're uh, essentially paying for. These guys aren't cheap, that's for sure. All right, mm, quick. Um... I gotta take off the base plate, it is hitting these prime grips, they're they're pretty annoying with that, that's the only issue with them. Let me uh, get this base plate off. Alright, cool. Okay guys, that's what the bottom looks like. Hmm. After after we shoot it, we'll uh, we'll take this apart and see what the internals look like. Okay, I'll have to walk over and get my tools though. All right, drum roll. <laughs> Nine ball. Here we go. Oh, two ninety one. Jeez, just a kick on here is big. Up uh, the atrocious AIP BB strike. Okay, just get another shot. Okay, we got one in chamber to shoot. Out. Out, come on. Yep. I think these BB jam are pretty much any gun except the Wii and TM. Okay, this two eighty eight, two eighty one, jammed again, and this is not this is not nine balls fault. These BBs jam on it. Oh, except the TM we I already said that. I'm repeating myself. Nice work. <laughs> Oh, there's already one in the chamber. 289. Yep. 285. Let's just keep on shooting until we get all these out. 280. 285. All right, and we're empty. Um, let's just dry fire it anyways, just to get them out. Um, you guys did see a big jump in FPS. It should be a big jump. Uh, what, it was two seventies, about 10, 15, 20 peak. Um, I mean, especially when just coming with the nine ball gasket and the high flow valve. Um, we'll take it apart and see how it looks, okay? So I'll have to grab a punch, valve key, fill valve, okay. Uh, let's just dry fire the rest of it. All right, we're out. Um, it feels like my gun was faltering a little, so I better make sure my hammer spring is actually right enough for the high flow valve. One thing people always forget, guys, when you run high flow valves, you need to actually have a stronger hammer spring to actually award, uh, you know, the high flow valve. Otherwise, you won't utilize it. Okay, so that might be my fault. It could have actually been maybe higher if I have a correct. I should have checked the hammer spring strength in here first. Um, what you guys can do is admire this. Let me put this back on here. While I go trying to find the tools to take this apart, so you guys can see. But so far, initial impressions, it's not bad. Uh, one benefit I'll tell you right now, I can think of, although guys, I realistically need more time to test this. Um, one benefit I can see already is that one, it's going to take TM maglips. You're not going to have a problem with that. 
uh, it takes you know TM gaskets. Well, actually, we would have to really test the theory, but just based on the shape, you guys see Pro Win doesn't do that. That's that's the only problem. If you get the Pro Win uh, build up kit, you can use TM stuff, but otherwise you can't. And um, that's one advantage it definitely has. It looks die casted though, but I could be wrong. I'll leave it here on the scale. Oh, let me move this right here, guys. You guys can look at the stuff. Let me get the tools. All right. Valve. I think that is it. Need a little punch, hockey puck, and something to hammer it with. All right, guys, back here. Sorry, guys. This is what you get with me on the spot. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. We know that it does increase the FPS in it. From those amount of shots, guys, it does seem like, you know, you get a couple more shots, actually. Uh, just take it apart. And this is just, uh, you guys, I know you can buy these valves by yourself. Yeah, these are, I've tested these before, very unique. All right, let me, let's get a close up. Let me bring the camera in. You guys see my ghetto? That's what I was shooting into. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna zoom in, guys, so you guys can see how unique this is. This is this is a very different flow valve. I mean, uh, well, high flow valve. All right, but this is how this one works. Very interesting. Okay, anyways, um, that is the flow valve. Let's continue taking it apart. Uh, let's punch this out. See which way. Let me uh, zoom back out, guys. Okay. Okay, that comes out very easy. Um, we're gonna put this right here. We'll put that right here. Okay. Looks like your typical. Okay, my piece of spring. Here's your gasket. I love these guys. They're really cool. All right, let's move on to the bottom. Let's take uh, let's take out the fill valve. See if that's a standard TM. Right now, just as an educated guest, I hate taking educated guests. I like trying on hand, but I don't want to make this video 500 hours. This fill valve might be a little different from the TM one actually. I'll zoom back in. We'll see. I have some pro arm ones I can try out. They fit. The replacement ones for the TM. It looks a little different. Part of the O-ring. Okay, that's all right. So that's the fill valve. Let's take it apart. See what the internal looks like. Screw is too small. I need to go get a uh, bigger one. So let me zoom out again, guys. Okay. I'm not hitting the camera this time. <laughs> Screwdriver. There we go. All right. Back over here again. Where'd I put it? Oh. <laughs> uh, you guys didn't hear that. Taking it apart. So, honestly, guys, my initial impressions is uh, it's not bad. Definitely not bad. You know, weighs a little heavier than I think the Pro Win and the Black Town, but Black Town is going to beat everybody because it's polymer. The only problem, guys, is polymer. The Black, uh, the black Town, while they're awesome, is that they drop slow. So, if you're in competition, Realistically, you guys are going to go for pro wins and you're going to get some heavy base plates and you would probably want to put a heavy base plate on this if you're, trying to, if you're buying this. Uh, for a competition, I can't say that this would probably be not a bad idea. 
because you need to get those quick shots off and make sure you knock off any targets and you need that little high FPS. So it's definitely not a bad uh, buy. Okay, we got a washer O-ring. Okay, this is a it's pretty typical build. Nothing uh, nothing new. So what you're really paying for is that it's lightweight. Let's just see how much the body weighs. hundred and hundred and thirty nine point eight just the body by itself um, initial impressions are you know not bad I need to run it more guys you guys know how I am uh, but this is what the you know the full internals look like uh, I would probably say the coolest things are is that it's lightweight I love lightweight now it's a, it's a big difference and you know you get the high flow of uh, the high flow watch out the high flow guys want it is a double edged uh, sword you do lose some gas efficiency and but there's nothing negative about this nine ball gasket there is nothing really not nothing negative the only thing people could complain about is that it sticks on your loading nozzle but that's not that bad all right so if you guys have any questions um let me know uh big thanks to um you know who you are for giving me this a lot of people have been asking me to review this i didn't want to buy this but uh you know, talked to him and he uh, convinced me that he's having good luck with it. And I can see why he's saying that. So far, the, the FPS boost is nice. The weight reduction is good. Um, and it does jam on these crappy BBs, but that's okay. Um, what I'll do is I'll do an update video. And I'll see if it runs with just normal run-of-the-mill BBs. Like, you know, Matrix or whatever. You know, whatever everyone can buy. Uh, Evike BBs, uh, AEX, Airsoft GI, that kind of stuff. Elite BBs. Uh, I'll see how it does with that. So uh, I will update this video in probably about when I run it and shoot a couple of times. Okay? Uh, big thanks to him, guys. If you're Canadians that's looking to get into IPSC uh, Airsoft uh, competition, uh, maybe give me a private message and maybe if he's okay with it, I'll connect you with him. Because I know he's running uh, competitions out there. All right? This was the 9-ball aluminum uh, magazine Neo complete version. I've been looking at this guy for a long time, but I just didn't want to buy it. <laughs> but for now, it looks good. Alright, I'll see you guys around. Have a good day.